Hi, I just got my guitar picks delivered today. They're um, point, what are they, point six zero millimeters. Half of them and the other half are point seven three. Here's the one that I've got, the Dunlop. And um, I think there was actually a point seven one, but that was mistakenly put in there for some reason. That was a Pro Grip or something. Um, I've forgotten the name now. But yeah, I'm going to stick with using this one because this is the one that I used years ago. I had a bunch of them and somehow they've gotten lost over the years. Even though this guy, Justin, recommends this like really thin 0.38. Um, but the reason I didn't get that a pack of those is because I kind of didn't want to get a whole pack of 12 for £7. I felt like that was kind of expensive, even though the pack I got was also kind of the same price. But... It had, you know, different varieties, different materials, whereas this would just be 12 of the same. And I've heard things, read things online about them, a thin, one that thin being good for acoustic guitars, but as I had, have a, um, an, an electric guitar, not so good apparently. Even though it's kind of ironic because he has an electric guitar in this video that I'm watching right now. But I don't think he actually uses it on the guitar, but... Yeah, I might end up buying it. It's just a shame that the um, the multi-pack, the Dunlop multi-packs, none of them have um, picks that are that thin for some reason. I, I think the thinnest one was this one actually, a 0.6. So that's a shame because I was hoping, and you would think in a multi-pack that has a variety of different um, sizes that they would go from, you know, they'd have a really thin one. And they'd have, you know, a really thick one and all in between, or somewhat in between, depending how many they're going to put in. But, well, making weird noises, my computer. Yeah. So, oh wait, no, I just say prime grip right there. I'm so confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So actually, this isn't quite the same as I thought it was going to be, as the picture. That's weird. That's weird. Anyway, I just realised that now, because in my last video I was just saying how they made a mistake, because I thought it was supposed to be two of each. But it is two of each, except for the Prime Grip and the Ultex. I thought there was going to be two Ultexes, like in the picture, um, on Amazon, but no. So, that's weird. But yeah, I might still end up trying one of these really thin picks one day because, well, you know, I, I'm curious. But I just didn't want to spend seven pounds so on on twelve of the same one. So he claims that's the best for strumming, whereas a thicker one is best for picking. Um, I think he does. Yeah, this is the one that I have right now. Well, it's not actually exactly the same because his is not done up. This one's really good for picking out individual notes if I'm doing the chord practice or, you know, or any sort of riffs or anything like that. that. Using a thicker pick is definitely a good idea, but as a beginner guitar player, I think you would find this pick very, very difficult for strumming. Okay, for oh, learning yeah. to strum, you definitely want to be going for your as probably thin a pick mistake. as you can. By the way, I did use a, a random method of choosing which to get because I was kind of conflicted, you know, because I watched this video before and he said, that the thinnest one was recommended but I I didn't really know because I, I, I did want to get a multi-pack but frustratingly the multi-pack didn't have one so thin and I didn't want to spend seven pound on the 12 pack of the really thin ones so I did a I did a you know a random method of choosing and it chose the multi-pack so that's why I actually chose the multi-pack to be honest so anyway here we go how to hold a guitar pick. You'd think it would be quite simple, but um, let's see. Hold the pick. And ideally, you want the pick kind of coming out of the side of whoa, your whoa, thumb. Whoa, 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 okay? whoa. Slow down. One thing that is really important is how you hold the pick. And ideally, you want the pick kind of coming out of the side of your thumb. Okay? So you don't want to be holding it like this, where it's coming out of the end of your thumb, you want it out of the side of your thumb. And this is really important when it comes to strumming. So ideally it wants to sit kind of like it's coming out of your first finger 
but out of the side of your thumb. So you can see that. Oh, I'm already confused. Out of the side of your, but out of the out of your first finger, but out of the side, kind of like it's coming out of your first finger, but out of the side of your thumb. So you can see there, it's the, the first finger is positioned kind of pointing straight down, but when we look around this side, it's coming out of the side of your thumb. Now, you might find as you progress as a guitar player that, that you is, want to be less feel quite awkward. coming out of the side of the thumb, but as a beginner, you probably want like a good centimeter coming out. It doesn't really matter at this stage how much is coming out of the side of your thumb, but I would give it probably that amount. It'll be the same even if you're using these other bigger picks or thicker picks. It should be coming out of the side of your thumb like that. It's still pointing, so if you get with your first finger, put the pick on your first finger and then wrap your thumb around, you can see the first finger is just pointing down almost at the end of the pick, but it's still coming out of the side of your thumb. It is perfectly okay to decide not to use a guitar pick for the first part of your beginner journey. However, learning to strum with a pick is a lot easier than learning to strum with your fingers. Now, it doesn't work for everyone. There are some fantastic guitar players that don't use a guitar pick at all. Mark Knopfler, Jeff Beck, loads of others. But in the early stages, I'd recommend that you have a go at learning with a guitar pick and learning to strum. You can always decide to ditch it later, but definitely for the beginner stages, when you start strumming a lot, maybe not the first lesson, maybe not the second, but definitely by the third lesson, I would recommend that you're exploring using a pick when you play. So that's basically what I'm intending to do now, is go into the strumming lessons and um, learn how to do that, how to... Um, yeah, so I need to find that. I think that's uh need to go here. This is on his website that I'm kind of using, although I'm not exactly doing it in order because I I mean I kind of am, but the book is actually a bit different. The book that I bought from him, you know, eight years ago or something. So it's a little bit different how the end of the module um is compared to the book. Hang on, where am I? So I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Beginner's course, um, module one, I think. How to play the D chord, I did. How to play the A chord, I did. Anchor fingers, one minute changes, bars and strumming on one. That one I've not done yet, so I want to do that one. Next. Even though I find strumming kind of not as exciting, even though, I don't know why, I think it's because you're not learning a new chord. I, I, I think I find that one the most exciting. Strumming feels a bit, I don't know, I don't know. Like I won't be able to do it, probably. So, let's see in my next video.